All right. Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back with the next episode of Mass Effect 3. Last episode, we went to Grissom Academy and took care of Cerberus, them fuckers. So, um... Make sure everything's going. It is, okay? Sometimes the recording doesn't like to record, so... I gotta make sure it's working, so... Here we go. I know I could hit resume and all that, but... I like to manually save and load my manual saves, so... But here we go. I did figure out how to do the Eclipse mission. So we're going to go do that real quick before we go meet with the diplomats. Since we're here at the Citadel. Well, um... You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we're going to the refugee camp first. So we don't have any money to buy anything, but, um... We need to come over here. Can I ask where were you? I believe he's over here, isn't he? No, he's at five. Okay. Kelly's at six. There he is. We just got a report that another ship made it off the Palafin. How many on board? 30 or 40 survivors. That's all. They said the fighting's getting worse. Well, let's find some room for them. Now, this is going to be home for a while. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. There we go. Yeah, I forgot how to do this. I had to look it up, actually. <laughs> the council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a displaced No, Ashley's not here yet. Okay. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Sedaris. Arya Tolok, of all people, got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Okay, so now we got that quest done, um, I believe. Yep, we did. We got it all done. Great. Great, great, great. Um... I messed up the hacker. Um, we do need to go to the embassy to turn in the Welcome Prothean, um, One moment, please. the Prothean, um, obelisk or whatever the fuck it is. Now arriving at Presidium <laughs> Embassy. Yes, his squad did I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting in Bay D-24. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain this obelisk would help. Okay. Got a little bit of money, not much, but a little bit. According to the council. So Take a look here. Um, I 
We didn't get that one either, so we can't complete that one either. Okay. So, yep, we can move on. Yep, okay. Like I said, you, you want to do your optional stuff before you move on too much. Um, because then you won't be able to complete it. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Okay, so now we're going to go to the uh, summit. Finally. Finally. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, and there's a fuel depot. Yeah, so every time you dock with the Citadel, you get a uh, refill. Okay. Cool. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan Clan Chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing. Wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. Whether you like it or not, we need Krogan help to win this war. And what happens when the war is over? We'll find a new way to keep the peace. And they'll break it. Enough! This is all theoretical. It would take years to formulate a cure. There's no time! My information says otherwise. A Salarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? What does it matter? Palavin is burning right now. Earth is burning right now. If it takes a cure to cement this alliance, then that's what I'm doing. He's right. The hard truth is we don't have a choice. Give Rex what he wants. 
or none of us will survive long enough to know who was right or wrong. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander, the consequences... ...will be nothing compared to what happens if the Reapers win. Let's get the females. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. All right. So we're going to Sirkesh. Um, we're going to take our power damage. We're going to go OG since we're going to, um, work with Rex. All right, so we bought some new weapons. We'll take the Acolyte. We'll go power magnifier. An ultralight to make you lighter. All right, cool. Then, Mr. Garrus, we bought a new weapon for you. The concentration. There you go. Booyah. Okay. We're gonna do durability. We'll do concussive shot. Boom. We need to get warp up. We'll do lasting damage for you. And then we'll do pierce. To really wreak some havoc with you. <laughs> All right, cool. So, Kesh is the um, Solarian homeworld. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. See, the graphics of this game are just amazing. You know? Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. 
Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. Does Solarian hospitality always come with sharpshooters? This is an insult to the Alliance. These understand. No matter what some politician might say, Krogan are still considered a hostile race. I wonder why. However, on behalf of the Solarian Union, I apologize. But we must insist that Krogan remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Oh shit, it's the same range as the Careful. last saddle broker. The containment shield? I'd hope to never see one of those again. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the broker was very busy. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight to the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn Pijaks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never no true. Never forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? Well, last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. 
Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. <laughs> Alright, I'm checking stuff out here. I just want to make sure there's no items hidden or anything like that, so... I love Rex. He is so cool. Them or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna clear the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. That sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Okay. So into the elevator we go. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. Hopefully. I thought you said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. When I shut Malin's experiments down, I saved his research on the cure. Yes, I received an anonymous data packet some time ago. I believe it was Morden Solis's doing. Malin's data lacks crucial detail to reconstruct the cure, but it may help us in synthesizing one from living tissue. Unfortunately, the data couldn't help them. If I don't get the cure, I lose all hope of keeping this alliance together. Someone convinced Rex these females were still alive. Yes, it was me. I told Erdnot Rex they were here. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Goddess, what she's been through. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. I wish we could have done more. And now I know I'm the only one left. 
That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert! Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Oh shit, Cerberus is here! Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the bot through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. You'll see Tichunke again. I promise. To the elevator, Commander. Okay, first things first. Get your warp ammo. Get my warp ammo on, anyway. I gotta make sure there's no items down here. Um, you never know, they could hide something, they could... Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. See, there's something right here. There's something right here. You gotta check your stuff here. I spent my remaining political capital to safeguard the females. I'm virtually alone in this. Most of SDG would rather eliminate them. Short-sighted. Evolution has a grander plan than any one person can ever imagine. The Krogan must be protected. I'll find a way. Make sure nothing else is down here. There. Try it now, Commander. Alright. Oh crap. Get back! Commander Shepard, are you alright? Is there another way out of here? I can open it from here. Commander, it's Wix. Cerberus forces are tracking our progress. The quarantine checkpoint is under attack. Get there right away. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Taking enemy fire from Pacific Caltech 4. Okay, so now we're gonna head back. We're on our way. There's a door over here I need to get open. I saw or thought there was. Um, maybe not. Was the next shadow broker could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. Commander <laughs> Shepard, we have Cerberus troops at the checkpoint. They're targeting the Krogan. I see the checkpoint. They're under fire. Let's get in there. Oh, 
Are you okay? The containment shield is holding. I can attempt repairs if necessary, though that may be small comfort to our patient. I'm fine, Commander. It's likely Cerberus was tipped off. Maybe a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. It would derail your alliance with the Turians. That's not gonna happen. Meet us at the next checkpoint! I suspect Cerberus will try to hit us! <laughs> Quickly, to the next checkpoint! Okay. Now, I want to check everything that I can. Found a data pad here. Like I said, I, I'm just exploring more than anything. Um, this is where I came from, so that's not where we go. This way. Where's my Norma team? Hey, Shepard, get cracking. I'm trying to draw some of their fire. Open fire. Go. Oh, Shepard, get cracking. 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 See, I'm way overpowered for this. I've got a level 5 um, N7 Eagle. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I'm just murdering these guys like they're nothing. They're capable of anything. Commander, stay back. Hostiles just down the hall. Hey, it's Major. It's Captain Kiri. Captain Kiri. It's Major now. I always hoped we would work together again. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. <laughs> How do I not have one of those? Go, Commander! I'll cover you! Alright, squad. Your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Looks like Cerberus got some upgrades. Thank you, Advance! Keeping them head on may not be the best idea. Commander, I'm sorry. Maybe try to flank them instead. We have to take out those turrets! I did take out the turrets. Keep going, Commander. Don't worry about me. I think we got them all. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus isn't done. B, you think? So the only other thing I can see is... There we go. Wix is right. Cerberus was tipped off. They got here too fast. Every war has its traitors. Okay. Those. I didn't know that was there. I'm headed up top. O'Brien squad is trapped the female at checkpoint two. Take her up. Hmm. 
Okay. Bypass the door here. Quickly, we still have enemy troops outside the pod. Take them out! Get them away from the female! Commander, Super has got the power. You'll need to reroute emergency systems. Here we go. Look for the power terminal. It should be nearby. Look around. There must be a power conduit nearby. Yeah, it's right here. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Next one is the landing area. Will Earth not Rex be there? Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. Bastards, here we go. We found the Krogus. Last one. Let's get the hell out of here. Shepard, get your ass up here. I can't fly around forever. The female's on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I'm making you an honorary Krogan. We'll take the scorpion, because, um, Garrus wants one. <laughs> Okay, we go up here. Okay. Like, the fuck? Okay, there we go. Okay, and this is the area they wouldn't let me go see. Yep. You need to authorize her release, Commander. The pod then transfers to the loading area. Let's get you out of there. Yeah, 
Watch out. We've still got Cerberus troopers left. Shepard, I think you did it. Looks clear from here. I'm coming in now. Here we go. That's how you do that. <laughs> Let's make this quick. Let's get you out of there. I can handle myself, Rex. Women. <laughs> Why is Cerberus here? What do you want? Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good, hack it out. Look at that massive thing. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the deal. But Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure, there's no alliance. Wix, how long will it take to finish a cure? There's more work to be done. I need time to synthesize a base antigen from the female's tissue. I'll also require a sample of healthy male Krogan tissue. You're looking at it. Very well. You'll need to remain confined to the Normandy for the procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. A cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order. Can you do it? Reverse a 2,000-year-old sterility plague? I've tackled worse. How will it work? Those are the details I need time to discover. But we won't solve anything standing here arguing politics. Then get started, Wix. And make it fast. Certainly. If you need me, I'll be in your med bay running tests on Eve. Eve? A name from your own mythology. It has the appropriate connotations, and seemed more respectful than female Krogan. 
She never told us her real name. You should come speak with her, though. Very insightful. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. Okay. Now we're gonna get optional missions here, but I wanna check the war terminal here. See, we're getting there for military strength. We really are. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. That's all. Of course, Commander. Okay, now we gotta find Rex. There he is. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. What will you do after the genophage is cured? Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time will be different. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, <laughs> who am I to argue? That was the food you see. Maybe it's because I don't kiss as well. It's true. It's true. But we're gonna go around and talk to people. Have a base on their homeworld secured better. Nah, they were solid. Cerberus has Reaper tech. Compared to those upgrades, the Salarians might as well have been throwing rocks. Okay, so we're gonna go around. We've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Okay, thanks. The AAN Alert, the Lion New Lions News Network. Thessia, Rana, uh, not a lot of this, whatever the fuck. Um, she was the scientist for Saren that we let go. Found her again in Mass Effect 2. We let her go again. Um, but now she decided to commit suicide after she was arrested.
Dear E, hold the lines, what he's saying. Um, he says, thanks for getting my ass out of the fire on that one. Baron is, um, Liara's partner, you know, as the Shadow Broker's partner. So we're going to go down the shuttle bay first and work our way up. What we'll do. <coughs> Wonder what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sarkesh. Commander, I feel terrible about leaving you on Grissom Academy like that. I did order you to leave. Yeah, it doesn't make me feel any better. I'm just glad it all worked out. Okay. Nothing there. So interested in my people, Asari. Protheans are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? Enlightened? Well, it seemed that way. And now that I am here. I wonder what it's like waking up 50,000 years later to a new galaxy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species think. Krogan, Turian, Salarian. All were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? We can't win this war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. If they get in your way, destroy them. Excuse me? I apologize. The previous occupant of this room left traces of himself. I have absorbed some of them. Yes, Grunt. He was a strong one. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. <laughs> they still speak too fast. <laughs> I didn't know that! That's cool! Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were abducted by... No. I don't. Me neither. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard? Hey, just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. You know what the commander did for us? The colony? Yes. I was on a little thing called the news. You think you can fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's traitorous. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. Stand down, Yeoman. She's allowed to voice her opinion until I disallow it. Aye, aye, Commander. But how does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Commander. Okay. Up to the crew deck. I know there's a couple people to talk to up here. I admire your bravery. You're now the savior of your entire race. The transmutative agent that propels a species to a new stage of evolution. Many will fear that. Ah, Commander, we were just... Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian doctors. 
This one is different. Is he? What's that? A blood test. Commander, please explain to him my only goal is to ensure her health is stable. He was your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Salarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Then we're in the same trap. By helping you, my career in STG is almost certainly over. Why do it? Every species has their role to play. Centuries from now, the Krogan could be the pinnacle of galactic evolution. Even I don't believe that. But I want my people to. Then let him work, Rex. Just keep her safe. Our females have endured enough. Of course. And remember, I still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Now if that's settled, I have work to do before he changes his mind. Thank you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left in the galaxy. We owe a lot to you, even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman of the female clan. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps one day, when this is over, you can know it. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. Wisdom comes from pain, and the Genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. Commander, Eve's blood tests are in good order. Malin's notes have been invaluable in restoring her health. I'm glad I saved them. You quite possibly saved her life, too. How is this cure gonna work? I'm hoping it will inspire a resurgence in Krogan sex. I've always wondered how they made it. Not what I meant. No, but you were probably thinking it. And now's our chance. In the interest of science, how do Krogan mate? Very clumsily. And there we have it. Could be worth writing a paper someday. Now, as to your question. We can extract the DNA that renders immunity from her tissue to produce a viable mutagen. In turn, this mutagen will alter the gland function across the whole Krogan species. Large and presumably irritable infants will soon follow. Thanks. I appreciate your help in this. And I appreciate the chance to witness this moment in history, Commander. We're charting a new course in evolution. Okay. We'll deal with those two in a minute. I want to check out, um, Garish, see what he has to say. Shepard. Nothing. That's all for now, Garrus. Anytime. Okay. Solyara. Still relying on the Pro 
Ruffians for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Ready for the next mission? Upgrades, okay? I can't imagine anything so traumatic. You sure you're okay, Karen? I wouldn't wish a collector abduction on my worst enemy. But it's behind me now. I'm fine. But it makes me think of Earth and all the other Reaper-occupied worlds. What are the Reapers doing to the people who live on all those worlds? As we sit here, enjoying our coffee. How many souls are in agony this very moment? Millions? Billions? Go, oh, Greg. I lied. I'm not fine. Everything okay in the med bay? Yes. Paddock would just like some space to work with Eve. He kicked you out? Oh, no. I just felt I was getting in his way. I'll return when I'm needed. Hello, Commander. Alright. Now we got one more place to go. Which would be the bridge. Which I don't understand why they put a frickin' door here. But whatever. They really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... Now that's about it. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? This body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission. But only adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. <laughs> What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. Okay. Cool. We'll talk to Samantha over here and then we'll probably call it for this video. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. 
Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Eddie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. All right. So I'm going to just put Shepard up here. I'm going to call it for this video. So hope you all had fun in this video. I sure did. We went through Sakesh and got the female Krogan out. And now we're working on getting a cure for Genophage. So I will see you all in the next video.